Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, I am faithful, my child, to my promises concerning your life. For I am the Lord, and your God is good, and my mercy is new every morning. I am the faithful God who keeps covenant with my people, and my love is steadfast for those who love me and those who obey me for a thousand generations. Even when you are faithless, my child, I remain faithful, for I cannot deny myself. Even when you turn your back on me, I remain trustworthy, my child. For my word is upright and righteous, and all my work is done in faithfulness. I am faithful to protect you always, as I will cover you with my feathers, and under my wings you may seek refuge. For my faithfulness is a shield and fortification for you, my child. I am faithful, and I will establish you and guard you from the evil one each time he plots to attack you. Remember, when you confess your sins to me, I am faithful and just and will forgive you and all your sins and purify you from all unrighteousness, my child. Remember, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man before you or will be after you, my child. But I am faithful and I will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, my child, for even with every temptation that even may come your way. Remember, I will always provide a way of escape for you, that you may be able to endure it and overcome to the very end. I remain faithful even when you disappoint others, my child. Therefore, be encouraged today that your breakthrough is coming and that you will overcome the very thing that you are currently dealing with so that your mind and heart shall be at peace once again. Yes, that weight that you are carrying shall be lifted off your shoulders so that you can breathe again. Therefore, Learn to be patient with yourself also, and everything is going to turn out as I plan for you, my child. Just keep standing upon my faithfulness. If I was faithful to protect baby Moses that floated down the Nile River in a basket made from papyrus and asphalt, then I will also protect you, my child. I was faithful to open the Red Seas for my people Israel, as I was faithful to provide them with manna from heaven, with quail from the sky, water from the rock, clothes and shoes that never wore out, and victory from every enemy that stood before them. I will also be faithful to provide for you, my child. I was faithful to close the mouth of lions when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, as I was faithful to deliver his three friends from the fire. Yes, I was faithful then, and I am also faithful now, my child. I have been faithful to answer your prayers and give you what you needed, not always what you wanted, but I have always given you what you needed. When you are reminded of my faithfulness, my child, the thoughts and feelings of unbelief and being forgotten start to melt away from you. My faithfulness has endured throughout the generations since I established the earth and it still stands fast. I am not a man that I should lie, nor a son of man that I should repent. For what I have said I will will do and what makes good to my promise I will keep it to the very end. My loving kindness never ceases for my compassions never fail for they are new every morning and great is my faithfulness to you and your generations that have been and yet to come. Therefore be strong and courageous my child do not be afraid or terrified because of the enemy before you for I the Lord your God God goes with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Nothing can separate you from my love, my child, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth 
nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate you from my pure love for you. I will remain faithful to you and will never leave you, for I am your shield, your hope, and your promised victory, my child. Continue to put your trust in me wholly, my child, and be at peace this day as I am with you. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. As we meditate on God's promises today, one thing shines through, and that is God's promise of being faithful. That's right. Even the Word of God explains to us according to Numbers 23, verse 19. God is not man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind and repent. Has he said and will he not do it? Or has he spoken and will he not fulfill it? The Bible also goes on and says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, and he shall surely do it. Hallelujah. This was one of those memory verses that I stood upon as a young Christian that 20 odd years ago today. So as we reflect on God's word, we can see that God starts to reveal himself. He reveals himself as part of God's character. Part of God's character is his faithfulness to fulfill what he has said. Now, if we reflect on our own life today, where in your life do you feel unsure about something? What situation seems to toss you from the left to the right, like it does, as the Bible says, let your faith be secure and not tossed from the side from here to there? Where do you need a firmer foundation today in your faith? See, the scripture is very clear. Being able to fully trust God is the beginning of living an abundant life. If you don't fully believe that God is faithful to lead you into the best possible life that you could live, meaning that he has good plans for you, meaning the ultimate goal is to enter the kingdom of of God. See, the Bible says you can gain the whole world but lose your eternal soul. So it's not gaining the the material things, though God can bless you. The ultimate peace, the ultimate faithfulness is that he said that I will go to my father and I prepare a place with you, with me in heaven. Hallelujah. That's our ultimate prize. But God also has a fulfillment that he wants to bless you here, a meaning a peace inside of you that will dwell there. Hallelujah. See, God's promise is that he will bring about perfect faithfulness to his promise. Now, Philippians 1.6 says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Romans 8.28 says and promises, we know that all those that love God, all those things work together for good, for those who are called and called according to his purpose. See, you're not meant to live life apart from the knowledge of God's faithfulness. You're not meant to live with the weight of doing life on your own. The Bible says it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. See, man may fail you, but God will not fail you. Family and friends may not always be there when you need them, but your God will always be there with you to see you through. Hallelujah. So how do you respond today to God's faithfulness? How do we respond? We let his promises be a steady part of our life. We make the word of God something that we digest daily, that we may reflect on God's faithfulness. Whenever you receive bad news, what do we do? We, we must go to the word of God and see what the word of God says about that situation, that we may stand upon the faithfulness of of God. God is a covenant keeping God and he wants to meet his covenant promise for each of us. May you respond to his faithfulness today 
May you respond to it and experience his love, his joy, his peace that he has perfectly planned for each person. Now, if he meets the covenant promise of a thousand generations, how much more can he meet that promise for you today? Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, that you will grant us an open mind and open hearts to receive your grace and your wisdom today. Lord, through the power of your Holy Spirit dwelling in us, may we have the courage to face life's challenges and the resilience to remain faithful to the very end. Give us eyes to see your vision for how we might love one another and have reverence for all of your creation. Lord, you are always faithful to us. Your word shows us time and time again that you are faithful. And we confess that we are faithless people at times and we are prone to wander at times. But Lord, your word says to allow us to seek you no matter the cost. Forgive us, Lord, and teach us what it means to be faithful to you and to your word and to those that are around us. Give us steadfastness today, Lord Jesus, as we follow you. Teach us to be faithful in the small, simple acts of faith. Lord, as it was with the early church that believed you wholeheartedly, no matter what trials await us today, may we never forget the blessings that you have shown us and help us to cling to you as our anchor and help us to remember your steadfast love and faithfulness for us in all things. Thank you for your love and your faithfulness and how you protect us each day. May we show your love in all our interactions with others today. Lord, lead those people to us today that you want us to speak to. Words of encouragement, Lord, words of edification, whatever it is that you want us to share, let your spirit dwell within us. Lord, I pray for each person today that is feeling down today, that is feeling downtrodden today. Lord, that you would come and pick them up and encourage them with these words today to know that you are faithful. And the times that we have not been faithful to you, you've remained faithful to the very end. Lord, I pray that your anointing would touch each person, bring an awakening, bring revival, bring a fresh touch, that they may know your love and your presence today, that they may know, Lord, you. That's what the Bible says. According to John 17, 3, it says that they may know you, God, and your son, the Christ. Lord, I pray that each person may know you more today than they did yesterday. Lord, that you would help them, deliver them, bring that breakthrough in that season that they are waiting upon, because surely, God, you're going to do something great in each person's life today as they continue to put their trust in you despite of everything that is going on in their life they can trust you because you're not a man that you should lie so lord i bless each person today lord i pray that you would touch them and fill them with your anointing with your power with your grace in jesus mighty name we pray amen i also have a word for someone today there is someone that has issues with their liver It's a weakened liver. So Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we speak to that liver right now that it will come back into the perfect design of God today in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ also. There's also somebody with weakened lungs. You have don't have the capacity to breathe as you should, or you may have even noticed that there are breathing issues that you've had recently, which is actually connected to your lungs. So Heavenly Father, I also pray for a creative miracle in the area of the lungs also in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch that person today. Come and heal them. Come and Come and give them new lungs, new kidneys. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, new liver. Lord, I also speak to that person, yes, with kidney issues. That person with kidney issues. Lord, I pray for that person right now that has kidneys kidney issues. Lord, that you will come and bring healing. Those that are on dialysis machines, Lord, I pray for creative miracles, for new 
kidney to come in the name of Jesus Christ. Also pray for someone with a stomach issue. Any issues with your stomach be healed also now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody with an issue with their heart. There is a heart issue that you have. I want you to place your hand upon your heart right now and receive divine healing right now as you receive that. And as you go to the doctor and in the future, you'll see the change to those conditions in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody with a brain issue, meaning there is a brain issue. It could be through an accident that you've had. It could be some issue within the brain, whatever that issue is. We locate it now, Heavenly Father, and I pray for a creative miracle. Whatever issue that is with the brain, bring healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also, I also pray for someone that has a lot of stress. Maybe you are a stressful person. You worry a lot. You have a lot of anxiety. I want you to surrender that to the Lord right now. There's also somebody that is grieving the loss of a loved one. Allow the Lord to bring that healing to that grieving process. Even Jesus grieved the death of his friend Lazarus. He cried. He grieved for him. So it is a right thing to grieve for that lost person. But there's a right way and there's a wrong way. So allow the Lord to lead you into that. There's also someone that is suffering with the area of fear. We've spoken about this before, but I just want to address it again today. There's also somebody that has a short temper. You have a short temper or a short fuse, as they say. God is also going to bring healing to you right now as you release it to the Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray for divine healing for all those organs. And I pray and I come against any spirit of fear, any spirit of anxiety, any spirit of unhealthy grief that is going on, any spirit of anger that may be uh, you know, causing somebody to lose relationships, lose positions in jobs, whatever it is. If you find yourself in that position, Heavenly Father, I pray we bind those spirits right now. We command them right now to come out of those people and go back to the pit of hell right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Leave them right now. Leave them right now. Leave them right now. Leave them right now. Leave them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that you will fill your people with the Holy Spirit. Empower them today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Forward this to a friend. You may follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. It's about bringing repentance revival back to the church of Jesus Christ as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's our purpose. That's our aim, to bless each person. So I just encourage you guys to join in our corporate Friday fasting as you draw into God in deeper intimacy. And we'll also be having a three-day fasting coming up in November. So get ready for that, precious saints. And also, don't forget, God is good and His mercy is new every morning. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you and we are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.